Okay, in this video, we will be going over gamma decay. And so as an example reference, this is what we have. So we have curium with the atomic mass of 248 and atomic number of 96. We write an M, meaning metastable or excited state. This occurs when we're dealing with gamma decay. From there, with gamma decay, it's always this symbol here, this gamma symbol here. And with gamma, it has an atomic mass of zero, atomic number of also zero. So this piece isn't going to change, except now it's going to be in grounded state. So you can remove the M. So now let's solve these two problems. So we have metastable nitrogen, atomic mass of 14, atomic number 7. And so what's going to happen, it, it's just going to be grounded state. So it's going to be 14, 7, nitrogen. And now you write your, your gamma symbol, and that's it. Now let's do the second problem. Here we have calcium, and it's in its grounded state. Now we simply need to do this. So we have 40, 20, and a meta symbol, M, and CA. And that's all we need to do for gamma decay.